Yeah, hello. So today I want to show you how to test the strength of your antifreeze in your car. And the first thing you will need for that is one of these antifreeze testers. You get those at the store for really little money there, like maybe a, a buck or two. So now let's have a look at the engine compartment of the car and we're looking for the reservoir for the antifreeze fluid. So that usually looks like something like this here, you can see. And it most often has like a, a lid that looks something like this. So, uh, And there's also a warning on here. So that tells you not to open it while it is hot. So you have to make sure that your car has been standing for a couple of hours so that this coolant here, the antifreeze, is all cool. Otherwise you may get injured when you're trying to open this lid here. So in my case the car has been standing for a couple of hours and so there is no pressure here right now in this reservoir. So I can safely open up this, this lid. So here I now have the antifreeze tester and it has here on the bottom it has the straw then the glass piece with a couple of balls inside of it. And then on the top there's this little pump so that I can suck up the uh, liquid into the hose and then into this glass piece. So now that's exactly what I'm going to do here. So I'm going into the reservoir with the hose and I'm sucking up some of the antifreeze. Here about halfway, that's, that's good enough. And then I'm pulling it out so you can see easier. Let me show you what this is here, what it says. And so there's these balls. And depending on how many balls are floating on top of the fluid, that shows you up to which temperature this uh, antifreeze is good for. And here in my case there's five balls flowing, or five balls floating. And okay, so now I check that and I can just put the liquid back in. And now let's, let's see what that means if those five balls are floating. So we can check here on the package, on this chart, and says five balls, that means here minus 40 Fahrenheit, degree Fahrenheit. And now that I'm done with the test, I'm going to take here a piece of paper towel and I'm going to wipe off the tester. So I'm making sure that there's no more leftover of the antifreeze on it. Because you have to consider that antifreeze is poisonous and it also is very bad for the paint of your car, so you want to make sure that none of it is touching the outside of your car. So now I just uh, put the lid back on and I'm going to take a ziplock bag and I'm going to store the tester in this bag so until I'm going to use this the next time. Alright, thank you very much for watching. I hope this was helpful and uh, don't forget to check out my other YouTube videos.